Okay, now, McCleary's video this morning, he was talking about Club 33, about people that are born to it. Now, being older, I, I remember these some of these black and white videos. This is a game show, What's My Line? And so the person would come out, these guys would be blindfolded, and they, would, they were able to ask him questions, and then they were able to deduce who he was by answering the questions. You can see right here, Jerry Lewis, he's got the one eye covered, so they think they're being funny there. She's doing the same thing. That's not it. This particular part. All that is flying around the earth. Okay. Um, so it was Walt Disney was the, was the guy that they had to guess who it is. And you can see it was called Club Thirty Three, right? Okay. Now he came out. He has to sign his name, and so the audience knows who it is. Now look at how he writes his name. This is Walt. Okay. And, and I'm assuming that's that wall, an energy wall, wonder wall, whatever the hell it is. I don't know if this is Pi or whatever this is, but I want you to look how he writes Disney. Down, I got it right here. Oops. Let me just move this up here so we can get a better look at it. Here, we'll just pull this up here, right? So let's look at that. This doesn't even look like Disney, okay? The D-I-S, this is supposed to be an N? Nah, I don't think so. And this... This is not an E, and this is definitely an X. But what we see right here is what really gets my eye, is when we look at this little bit right here. See that? See that little symbol right there? Where do we see that? We saw it on the chalkboard of the kid that was one of the kids that was murdered at Sandy Hook. We saw it in that little picture that I showed you, the model of the two pillars with the black sun and the keystone. And here, now we see it here. Okay, this is a wall of energy. I don't know what this is, but it's all the same thing. Disney was a fucking Nazi sympathizer, big one. You know, um, I'm sure he was fucking raping kids and all that, and I don't give a fuck, I'll say that, because I honestly believe it's true. But there's something atomic going on here. Now, when we say atomic, they keep telling us that we're sons of Adam. Well, then that means that we're, we're, we're atomic particles ourselves, right? Because Adam, atomic, atomic. This symbol means something. I don't know what it is in physics, okay? They used it in Sandy Hook. There's something else going on here that's, I don't know, it's got to do with power. This planet was set up for energy. Whatever this place is, it was set up for energy. Which brings me to the point of when you look at a baseball diamond, right? What is a baseball diamond? It is really just a circle that's busted into four. So really, when you get done with it, what do you got? All of this which is gone. Right? And you're left, you're left with one quarter of a hole. Now I'm telling you, and I heard Fox say this, and if there's a star in the middle of this planet, or a power plant or something, I heard Fox say that they were running on one quarter power at one time. So you're running on one quarter of the original of the original uh, system. If we look down at our Windows logo, red is the last bit before it's completely dead. So what happens is, if we're sucking energy off of the planet by just living, I don't mean crops, I mean just living because it's an electrical system, okay? The Georgia Guidestones said that that the world has to be reduced to 500 million. Why is that? Why would that? Because that would be the perfect number. Because we're cut off. That's what this pillar crap is. We're cut off from the rest of the system. Okay? In order to save what's left or to go green, a lot of people have got to go. And the perfect balance with the amount of power that's left in the battery in the center of this planet would be 500 million. Now, here's the problem. Let's say this is all for the better of mankind. How are you going to convince 
not only individuals, but nations to step up and say, we're going to have to off you for the better of mankind. That's going to be a real hard thing to do because, listen, nobody's going to go, oh, yeah, take me. It's okay if he survives. Everybody's going to be like, fuck you. It's going to be me. So there's going to be something. You know, they're not going to come out and tell you that's what they're going to do, but that's what Agenda 21 is. It's Agenda 3. It's It ain't good. And so they're going to have to start wars. They're going to have to have disease. they got to thin out the herd because... It, the planet itself, not the crops, those are just all made up things. They could flood the Sahara with... You ever see the desert after it rains? I've watched this on National Geographic. Flowers come out almost immediately. They could use desal desalinization plants, take the salt out of the water, pump that into the, into, the, um, into the deserts and have vast amounts of crops. This place doesn't have to be a hell on earth. It's only that way because there's certain people that like it that way. Um, so this, you know, this place could be more of a Garden of Eden than, a, you know, than what we got now. But so if there's only this much power left on the planet, then a bunch of people have to go. And how do you convince people? Well, you can't tell them the truth. You can't tell them, you know, they, you have to die because if if we don't all die. The human race will cease to exist until we can figure out a way to reconnect with the bigger picture. We're going to have to keep playing this game where we're wiping out hundreds of thousands of people to balance the, the electrical system of the planet itself. Now, I can't say for sure this was going on, but I, when they start giving you definites about how many people and this and that, you know, and no matter what the technology is, how far we advance, they keep that number the same. That's telling me that there's some other some other issues going on like I've said this before our system we get charged by the sun we get charged by the sun when the sun goes when the sun goes down here we go to sleep the other side of the world takes the energy in and recharges this side of the planet when the sun comes up over here and the sun goes down over there what happens is we're charging the sleeping side of the planet and so there's always one side of the world being charged and one side not using energy. It's just, a, you know, it's a theory of mine, but, you know, um, so if the whole planet was lit up at the whole time, we'd probably, get, you know, theoretically, I'm just saying that we would drain all of the power out of this planet. So half of the planet has to go to sleep. So it, the, it's like a rechargeable battery. But all rechargeable batteries at some point no longer hold a charge. And so, you know, if you're going to have to whack a bunch of people, you're going to have to figure out ways to do that. Because, you know, if you tell people, we're going to have to kill a shitload of you, those people are going to turn around and try and kill you. Because nobody wants to be the one to stand up and say, I'll die so the rest of you fucks can live. So, I'm just saying, there's something... I'm not saying that's what it is, that's just me thinking... But, you know, the judge Guidestones make a new language, do this, do that. You know, well, why make a new language? Why? Because you don't want the truth to get through? You don't want people to be able to tell the true story of what really happened because the language will be, will be obsolete? Go read, the, go read it. And, and notice the thing is set up in a configuration of a big X from the air. Look at the, look at the picture from the air. It's an X with a square. Okay, it's the same shit. So... I'm just saying, a baseball diamond is laid out, and it's got nine players on it, and they run around the bases, you know. Um, but just, you know, this whole go green thing is all part of wiping millions and millions of people out, you know. And, it, you know, I mean, here's, here's, here's where the rub comes in. The people that get to stay are the ones that are in power because they're the ones that are in power. That's why they get to stay. Um, I don't know if it's so much the occultic aspect of it as... No, no, no. We're the ones holding all the cards, so we get to be saved. And if there's any of you fuckers left, we'll keep you around later to help rebuild. But a, a shitload of you gotta go. And they, they, there's just no way that they can come up and just tell people we need volunteers. I just, there's something, I can see that there's something. Go look at the Georgia Guidestones. Go look at Agenda 21, which is Agenda 3. Go look at the Gold Green. Go look at the restrictions that they're putting on. Look at the electrical system, and it, it, to me, it's making sense. This whole thing with Sandy Hook, again, real quick. Here's the logo by Walt Disney. 
Okay, here it is by Walt, by Walt Disney. Here it is here on the two arches, what has to do connecting the two poles. And here it is on the Sandy Hook. Well, as soon as I figure out what the fuck that means, this looks like a vortex to me is what it looks like. Okay, here's the X. Here's the black sun. Here's the circle with the vortex. This, the, all it still has to do is Saturn. I don't give a fucking rat's ass what any of you motherfuckers say. Saturn is the gatekeeper. That's what it is. How it's doing it, I don't know. But but it's keeping the light from, from blasting through or it's sucking it up 